Developing workflows is rarely like driving down a straight road. It's more like driving in a busy city. You need to be able to make quick changes according to results, change direction, and maybe even go back to where you started from. It's even more complex if you want to co-work with other colleagues, swapping files and trying not to overwrite or break each other's work. Up until now in Rulex, you could either duplicate your process every time you want to fix a version, or export the process with its date and time as a suffix. In collaborative working, these exported files can then be shared. However, these methods are error-prone, time-consuming, and take up memory space. Exporting multiple processes with different timestamps creates disorderly folders, with no way of indicating what each version contains and what changes were made. So Rulex has decided to implement a version control system, which allows you to save, update, merge and retrieve specific versions of a process directly from the user interface. The state of the art in version control is Git, so this is the system we've decided to use. To give you an example of versioning in action, let me share my problem with you. I'm Claire, a Rulex developer, and I need to work with my colleague Alessandra on a specific process. But we don't not only work in the same office, we don't even work in the same time zone. Hi, I am Alessandra, and this is my process. I'd like to version it, and all I need to do is click on the Add icon. This operation returns the hash name of the version process, which I can copy to the clipboard. Now I'd like to make some changes to the process, and as you can see, the versioning icon next to the process has turned yellow, indicating that my process is no longer aligned with the repository version. To save these changes and align the versions, I'm going to click on the push icon and add a message to the push operation, which can be used to explain what I've modified. The versions are now aligned and the icon has turned green again. I could also tag this push version to make it easier to find and add other messages if I want to. To check all operations performed so far, click on the log icon. Here you can also see the tag I added to the push operation. Hi, I'm Claire and I'd like to clone Alessandra's process. She has already shared the hash name with me, so I can click on the clone icon and copy the hash name here. Now I'll add a name for my new process. I want to make some changes to the process by adding a few new tasks. And then I'm going to push these changes to the repository. I'd like to retrieve the changes Claire made to the process I share with her. And I can do this by clicking on the pull icon. Now I can see the changes Claire has made. Mm, I'm not sure I want these changes, so I'm going to go back to my previous version by clicking the revert icon. Here I can choose the version I want and I'll take the version I tagged previously.